Greetings, I am checking in from the lovely autumn forest here in good old Sweden. I thought to chime in to the whole Greta Thunberg and environmentalist and climate strikers issue. Now, if you followed me on Instagram and Twitter, you have already seen me post quite a bit about this. And um, if you haven't already followed me there, first links in the description box below. Be sure to follow me for some more takes on uh, various issues. It's uh, fun, Instagram and uh, Twitter. So anyway, to conclude, for those of you who haven't followed me, what I've said about Greta Thunberg is, first and foremost, I think it's a good thing that she gets um, a lot of people interested in environmental issues. Then what they're actually protesting, climate change, CO2 emissions, I think they would be more intellectually honest if they focused on the very pressing concerns of the environment, which is pollution, especially pollution of the world oceans. So if we're talking about environmentalism, it's extremely important to not just disregard it as some sort of hippie nonsense. It's absolutely not. Nature is in a bad state, uh, but it is primarily to do with pollution. And as you've seen the title of this video, the EU does something right for once. And uh, this actually connects quite well to what I've been saying before too. Because one of the points I've made in talking about environmentalism is that you vote with your wallet. So for example, if you buy things made in a country that pollutes a lot, China for example. And as always, I need to point out that I do have massive historical respect for the Chinese civilization, but at this day and age they pollute quite a bit. So I don't think it's a good environmentally conscious thing to buy things from China. That being said, I also have a lot of things in uh, China because I bought them because there was no European or American alternative. So no one is perfect, I'm not perfect in that way either. But point being is that if there is the option of buying something that is made in a country with higher standards because you ask yourself, the Chinese products are so much cheaper. Yes, of course, because they don't have to take a lot of things into consideration. The environment is one of them. So, what has the EU done right for once, you might ask. Yes, the EU actually does some good things, I will admit. They do a lot of bad things too, of course, but you already know that. So what they've done is they have imposed some more tariffs on products from China. And in Sweden, for example, there has been a... Over the last few years, a lot of people have been buying online from China. And here is something really inglorious, in um, lack of a better term. And that is that you can ship something from Shanghai to Stockholm for less money than you would ship something from Stockholm to another Swedish town. That is obviously ridiculous in terms of shipping costs and then in terms of production costs. It's completely different if you have one country that doesn't really have any regulations and then you have another country with a lot of regulations. So for me personally I salute the EU because I have a supplement company made in Sweden. I have no desire to compete with anyone else who has lower standards than I do, than Swedish uh, supplement and dairy production does. I have clothes made in Europe. I have no interest in competing against Chinese manufacturers or Indian or Bangladeshi or what have you. They can get away with cheaper costs because again they don't have to take so many things into consideration. And also speaking about that, speaking about Legio Gloria, if you haven't read my offer I couldn't refuse, I will link that below as well in regards to manufacturing in China. Uh, I simply want to be true to my ideals. I want to have it produced in Europe and the supplements in Sweden. That is what we are about. Simple as that. So, main point of the video. Absolutely brilliant that all of these young people are out protesting, but I wish they would, instead of asking these politicians to do something, they would start with themselves, vote with their wallets, say I as a consumer have an excellent choice every time I buy something. So eat as much as possible from a local source and buy from good sources if you are buying other products. Then lastly also to all women who are out protesting, one of the absolutely most important things you can do for Mother Earth is to go off the contraceptive pill. 
because when you use it, it eventually ends up in the water and um, the fish and uh, frogs etc. they are being heavily impacted by the hormones and it's very disruptive for the ecosystem. So that being said, I wish you all a wonderful day ahead and check all links in the description box below and follow me on all social media. It's the only reasonable course of action. XOXO, boo!